Hey, good evening. It's a 5 a.m. Master Scrum show, the evening edition, right? Jerry, Jerry's like, you have this blinding light and you're blinding me. Well, hey, everyone. It is late. It's like 10.52 p.m. here on a Thursday night. I wanted to do a show, talk about a little bit of customer experience. And I'm going to do actually uh, today, tomorrow, next day. A couple things on customer experience that I have experienced during this whole adventure of uh, fires and hotels and things like that. So, so today I want to talk about my terrible customer experience at the hotel. I won't name uh, names on the hotel, but I'll share you what uh, it's classic, classic issue avoidance uh, from an agile coach perspective. So, okay, 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show. I'm Greg Master, Scrum Master and Agile Coach. Hope you're doing well. We talk about Agile and Scrum or ideas about Agile and Scrum concepts, right? In this case, we're going to do some concept discussion. And uh, to bring value to your customer, get you home in a decent hour, not work crazy hours, and have a little fun. So what do I want to share with you? So it actually continued. So I'm going to give you two um uh, because I'm trying to make sure I don't overwrite what I want to write tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to talk about commitment and show you about handoffs and the impact of handoffs. I'm going to talk about that. And then just on Saturday I'll talk about UX versus CX. So I'm going to write a couple things. So two of the things happened. So we had a fire a couple weeks ago. Stayed in a hotel, long-term stay. And then a couple things wrong went wrong with the hotel. I think I mentioned one of them. Like one was <sighs> the maid service left the door open to our room and someone went in the room and stole the twenty dollar tip and or the maid took it. I don't know. Somebody took it. Maid, room service took it and uh went through my wife's bag. So that's that was early in the phase. And how do we know that was true? Because Someone put a big stack of towels on the desk. They didn't take any old towels out, but they put a big. So we kind of, so, yeah, it was just wrong, right? So that was kind of astonishing. So had a conversation with the manager. Manager said, oh, yeah, we're going to take care of it. Nah, I didn't take care of, care of anything. So from that point on, and I have the dates and all, like 10 days, um, we didn't get any maid service at all. So, I mean, they gave us a big bag of towels <laughs> that we had. And we just used the towels as we needed them. Um, we weren't really sure with coat with the 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 cold that's out there because if I say the wrong word, I'll get banned or something like that. Um, so we weren't sure the words rules were. Do we have to tell you when we need trash picked up? What's the story? Except there was a little piece of paper. Oh, I should take the paper. Though you would know what it would be. I should read it though. Yeah, I want to read it. So I have to get up and read it. So I'm going to get up for a second. I'm going to go get it. And I'm going to read it to you. I'm going to tell you who it was. But I want to read exactly what it says. I should probably do this on another show. Okay. So I have it. The policy from the hotel. You're probably like, oh, he's just on a ramp. Let me read this to you. It's a classic requirements discussion. So, said, having got service in seven days, she's like, well, did you read the thing? Did you sign it? I said, yes, I read it. Yes, I signed it. Here's the point line. She said, guest suites will be serviced every three days. I wasn't arguing with that. If you need amenities such as toilet paper, tissues, soap, etc., we will provide you upon the rest. Well, we really didn't need any of that extra stuff. We just figured someone was going to come do servicing every three days. She kept pointing at the, the manager kept pointing at it. I'm like, yeah, no, I agree. I, I, I agree totally with this. No one's been there for a week, you know? So it was like, so my last day, uh, day before checkout. And um, we finally got someone that show up because I finally got to meet manager. So here's some of the things. <laughs> I love the arguments because I, I try to say, well, your process is broken. The process is not broken, she says. Or the manager says, it's not broken. Like, no, it's broken. Because clearly, you're supposed to do it every three days. You didn't get check it for like ten, seven to ten days. So, God forbid we did something like that, bad stuff. Anyway, 
So that was broken. She's like, no, it's not broken. I'm like, okay, well, then I don't know what it's supposed to be, but it says three days, and you pointed it out to me. And then I went to go down to talk to the front desk in the morning before checkout because I'm getting up here at 5 a.m. morning, going to walk the dogs and take care of everything around the house. And uh, I go to the front desk, and there's no one there. And the security guard goes, says, well, yeah, he went and go took the people to the airport. So I'm like, you mean there's nobody else here that has any operations, a desk or a service or a system at all, right? And of course, the cat's screaming, yeah. Yeah, Bubbles. Come on down, Bubbles. So so at 6 o'clock in the morning, there's nobody at the front desk. What if someone had to go to the airport and have to check out? Could do it. So that was another item the manager says, well, well, that's okay. We technically had two people working it. You had one person knew how to use a system, and one person that was a security guard had no idea how the system worked and didn't know anything about it. But yet you met the requirements that says you have two people on staff at all times. But the only person who knew what to do with the system wasn't there. So like I couldn't tell them we need cleaning or whatever because I had to go to work and all this kind of stuff. So I don't know how people who work go to this hotel. I did write a review, and I wrote all this down in the review. So if you want to figure out which hotel it is, it's in a Google review. Um, so that was another thing. So, no, no, we had everything was working fine. We had two people here. I'm like, the other person was in a, in a shuttle bus in the airport, and the person that was left here had no idea how to use any of the systems. He was a security guard just make sure that the kids didn't vandalize the place at night. Okay, so that was another thing. And then the third one. So I had stopped one night because it was like 1030 at night after I got out of here because I'm here late. Walk the dog before I go to bed or go back to the hotel because the same place to get a shower. So it was like 1030 at night. I go up and I ask one of the um, people that work from behind the front desk. There's a few of them. I said, hey, um, can I get a, a way to contact the manager to say that, you know, about things going wrong and not getting help and, and assistance and, and all that kind of stuff and this things that are wrong. Well, I don't have, we won't have a business card for the manager. I'm like, do you have an email or somebody? Well, no, I don't have any of that. You got a phone number? Well, no, I don't have any of that. So I'm like, okay, great. Finally got a hold of the, the, the manager and I will say we agree on one thing. So as I brought that up, she says, I can't believe someone didn't know how to get a hold of me. I got my phone. She takes over and shows. She, she's like, I have my phone. I'm like, yeah, but what does that do for me that you have a phone? Apparently, no one knows how to give anybody your phone number to call you. And, and, and for me, to, you know, for me to talk to you and, and do all that kind of stuff. So she's like, well, we just started. We have business cards. I'm like, really? You can write this down. Have things but then the only thing we did agree about it was like do i point fingers at because she asked me exactly what time it was i told it was I, I gave her a description of the person but it's a lot of people i don't know exactly who the person was it was 10 30 at night and i've only been that way been there like that night seeing that staff maybe once so of course i don't memorize it but she expects me to memorize it so the only thing we agree on is that yeah, there's something they should all know, and and rather than single out one person, the whole staff needs to understand what's the process to how do you get a hold of what do you got to do, whether or not she the person ever does it, I have no idea because I'm a finger. She's just hoping I was going to go away. So, yeah, what are you going to do? But that was another. So that whole customer experience with that hotel was absolutely atrocious. In my 30 years of doing business travel, I've never seen an operation like this. And there's a lot of things that go on. It's a, it's a nice chain hotel. Um, and I don't, I don't get it. But anyway, but that is customer service. And my favorite part, it wasn't the system that was broke, but it was your customer. And this is why I want to talk about customer experience and talk about a couple of things. And on Saturday, talk a difference between user experience versus customer experience, where I think we're going the wrong direction. Uh, with their terminology and how we do things. But anyway, so I just showed you this, some things where, you know, the customer experience is crap right now. And I understand COVID and 
and even my wife, we, you know, we felt bad for the, or she felt bad because she was there. I wasn't there. I was here for the maid service. The maid service didn't get there at 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock at night. And she helped her out. She helped her make the bed. And she did that while the maid did another thing. There, the the um, housekeeping did something. Um, so, you know, she's trying to help my poor lady out because I have a feeling with this cold that's around, there's a lot of people not working. And she was doing it all herself. And of course, she'd call her, which is classic, where, you know, you have a person that works her tail off. So who are you going to call? You're going to call the person who works your tail off to get everything done. And the ones that don't work their tail off, you're going to let them skate. Right? And we've seen that before in, in our Agile teams, right? So anyway. So I want to share that as some user experience, just some example of terrible customer experience. Um, and where people think the system works, but when they really use it, it doesn't really work. And it's funny. It's like my favorite one is when when the when the manager said, "Well, you know, it'll be about three days." But I said, "But we're checking out on Wednesday." And so, oh, well, then it really won't matter. Well, I'm like, yeah, yeah, no, it doesn't really matter. But uh, I'd be honest with you, I would never recommend that hotel ever. And in fact, I fire all the managers because there's so many things wrong with that hotel. That's what's just ridiculous. And for them to use the excuse that they're new managers tells me they never were trained well and really don't know how to do customer service nor hospitality. So anyway, I want to wish you all well. It's been a rough week for my customer service. I don't know what's in the air. And again, tomorrow... We're going to talk about, well, one, it'll be Fortune Cookie Friday, so I got fortune cookies. And commitment and handoffs. So I got to tell you a story about how another example from this hotel thing, a temporary economy, where handoffs and commitments totally mess things up. And that will be another story related to this hotel thing. And then Saturday, again, we'll talk about why I think the user experience is the wrong pass, and it really should be customer experience. UX is the wrong term to use in, in what we do, and it really should be CX. So that, I want to wish you all well. It's a late night evening. I think Jerry's ready to go to bed. Give us a thumbs up if you like the show. We'll see you tomorrow morning early. Ring the bell because I don't have to drive back and forth from the hotel show. I should be here early. Take care of the puppies and... Uh, have fun. Take care. Bye. And happy scrumming. See you.